Hey YouTubers, it's that band guy again with another video. Today we're going to be checking out one of the coolest Highway 61 118th scale slash 116th scale die cast vans ever produced by Highway 61. Uh, this is the Frank Fazetta, Fr Frank Frazetta uh, version, which in my opinion is like one of the coolest uh versions of this highway 61 chevy van that's ever been released and we're going to check it out in uh close-up detail uh it is a it is a black van so it is going to show a lot of fingerprints and stuff i bought this used on ebay i got a really good deal on it uh these are uh out of print or not released anymore these are older vintage versions uh, the copyright on the package said 2005, so I believe it was probably released around 2006. Um, I did not get any packaging with this, I just got the van, and it was a little bit banged up. I'm not sure if someone used it like a toy or just kind of got banged up, you know, from some kids playing with it or something. Um, but I knew that before I bought it, so I got a hell of a deal, and I was okay with that because I just wanted one. I've always wanted one. This is like a holy grail piece for me as far as the Highway 61 Chevy vans go. This is the one that I wanted out of all the different ones that they make. Um, so I jumped on it. Uh, normally you could see these. Sometimes you could find them on eBay. But usually the asking price is like five, six $600. Uh, something crazy like that. Uh, I got this one shipped to me uh luckily they're only like one state away the person that was selling this so i didn't have to pay too much in shipping um but i basically got it for less than a hundred bucks because i i messenger and and uh i believe it was a female a lady that was selling it and uh you know by the name on her uh, ebay page uh this is the only highway 61 van that she was selling on her uh in her listings uh, but it's missing a lot of parts, and it's sold loose outside without the packaging. It's got like a little paint chip in the front. Uh, there's supposed to be a license, a, a driver, like a license plate on the front bumper that's missing. Uh, there's a paint chip up here that's touched up on the front fender. Uh, there's an antenna that's supposed to go up right here that's missing. Uh, side, mar side mirrors are missing. And these are all small little extra plastic parts that come with it. Uh, there's also supposed to be a roof rack on top of this and a ladder on the back. Uh, but if I were to choose, um, you know, whether to glue those pieces on, you can see uh, there's the license plate on the back. I probably wouldn't have put those pieces on because just like, like a dark, badass paint scheme, there's... This is called the Death Dealer. This uh, Warrior paint job. Do you really want like a luggage rack on top of your Warrior van? Just doesn't fit, in my opinion. So I probably uh, wouldn't have the roof rack and the ladder on the back anyway. Um, the side mirrors I probably would. But I, I think I could come up with another set of side mirrors. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's very detailed. Uh, check out my channel. I have a playlist for uh, Highway Six or a playlist for One Sixteenth Scale slash One Eighteenth Scale diecast, and uh, I have a couple of these other paint schemes from this Highway Sixty One Chevy van release, and there's some other uh, green light One Eighteenth Scale vans in that playlist as well. So check that out. But we're gonna check this out in great detail. If you don't know who Frank Frazetta is, uh, Google it or do a search on uh, YouTube. Uh, there's a really good documentary about him. Uh, he's famous for uh, doing this style of uh, barbarian or high fantasy artwork. Um, he uh, became famous for doing uh, comic book covers for the Conan the Barbarian uh, comic book. And other uh, paperback novels. He 
was uh, the main illustrator for the Fire and Ice animated film. Um, and just a lot of his paintings are super, super famous. And this is probably one of the most famous is this uh, Death Dealer uh, painting. Now it doesn't show the whole painting. It kind of just shows the, the circle, the, the horse and the Death Dealer uh, warrior or barbarian on his horse. Uh, but there is more to the real painting. So if you Google it, you'll see uh, it's kind of like more of a square shape and it has some uh, uh, vultures flying in the background and some and some it's a little bit more detailed. And obviously um, it's kind of small in this van. It's a lot more detailed if you check out the real painting. And he has a lot of other really cool art. There's one uh, where there's like a warrior on a bobsled or on a... Uh, like a, a standing on a dog sled being pulled by polar bears. That's a really famous one. One of my favorites. And just a whole bunch of other fantasy, like Conan the Barbarian style artwork. So check it out. Check him out on uh, Google it or check it out on YouTube. Uh, there's a documentary uh, about Frank Frazetta and his life, which is really interesting. Um, but let's get into this van. Uh, it's a little bit big for my turntable, so I kind of had to improvise a little bit. Um, but just so I could give you all uh, a shot of all the sides. And we'll take a look. It's uh, very similar to a lot of the other um, Highway 61 vans. So uh, the interior is pretty much the same. Uh, just like a different color, basically. So you can see it, the the carpeting inside almost has like a, or the interior kind of has like a, a feel, like a leather feel to it, or, or like a, you know, like a carpeting. Let's see if we can, uh, let me see if I can detach this camera so we can get a better shot of the inside. You can see it's got like real carpeting inside or like felt for the bed in the back. And it's got some cool uh, interior pieces. We'll check those out uh, from a couple different angles. But the door's open. It's got uh, a lot of detail. You can see a couple small holes uh, where the ladder would fit into. I'll give you a shot of the top. And you can see there's a couple dots, one there, one there, one there, one there. And that's where the, uh, the uh, luggage rack would fit in. It's got like a little, um, roof vent that opens up. It also has a sunroof on top, but that doesn't open. It's got a sun visor, it's got windshield wipers. There's a shot of uh, Frazetta, that's his logo, Frank Frazetta. That first one that looks like uh, two marshmallows on a stick, that's supposed to be an F. That's Frazetta. And uh, it's really detailed, it's a SS, 350. It's got side markers, white letters on the tires. Uh, the wheels do steer with the steering wheel. Just a little bit. There is actually suspension. I'll see if I can get a shot of... It creaks a little bit, but there is some suspension in the front. And there is a little bit in the back. Not a whole lot. But it does have some suspension in the back. But it does creak a little bit. Well, let's uh, flip it around. We'll check it out from the other side. And we'll show you the sliding door. Door opens and slides back. The door, uh, both front doors open. Give you another close up shot of the interior and try to get a little more light for you. Uh, these. Uh, is a little dusty inside. It's got it's 
got speakers in the doors, door handles. It's got a uh, little quarter glass that does uh, open. You can see that swivels the quarter glass in the window opens a little bit so that works you can see the captain's chairs they do swivel two-tone uh, very uh, detailed interior and dash and it's got like a little uh, cabinet inside Let's see if I can try to get some more light on this There's the uh, interior. It's got like a little cabinet inside. Some cabinetry in the back. It also has a lot of detail on the ceiling. Like little ceiling lights and stuff. So it's very detailed all the way around. Uh, the rear, the wheels, uh, all the wheels turn or, or rotate, and on the bottom of the vehicle, check out the bottom. Uh, when you turn the wheel, the drive shaft actually turns. You see that drive shaft turning there. Uh, another piece that's missing. It's got a little exhaust tip piece that's broken off here. So you only have one chrome exhaust tip that sticks out, but if I didn't point it out to you, you probably would notice, again, this, the wheels steer. You can see they have a little bit of suspension. Uh, detailed engine, transmission, you got the little oil, oil filter there, exhaust pipes, pipes, mufflers, leaf springs, gas tank. So lots of detailed stuff underneath. Let's see, I think I can, it looks like it's upside, we're upside down here to read that. Let me see if I can flip it over so you guys can read the print on that. 74, 74 Chevy G10 van used under license, die cast promotions, crafted in China. See, there's the, the leaf springs. It's got shocks. So, a very detailed piece. Uh, if you're interested in what some of the uh, uh, packaging look like uh, at the end of the video, I'll include a little slideshow of what it looks like in the packaging. And, um, it's it's kind of odd. It does say uh, one sixteenth one sixteenth multiple times for the the die cast ratio the size uh, on the box. It has one sixteenth on the front and on the sides and on the top and on the back. It actually says one eighteenth scale on the back of the box. So on the same box, it has it says one sixteenth scale multiple times. And then it also says 118th scale on the back of the box. So kind of kind of weird there. But this was originally sold by Diecast Promotions uh, by F.F. Ertl III out of Iowa under the name Highway 61. And eventually uh, Highway 61 was uh, purchased uh, by Greenlight. So now Greenlight owns Highway 61 and all the toolings. And they have just recently started uh, reproducing or putting out new versions of all these Highway 61 castings from the original toolings uh, that were uh, originally created by Highway 61 and Diecast Promotions. And it's kind of cool that this company was started by an Ertl, um, a son of, you know, the Ertl company that made, uh, you know, other Diecast toys under the Ertl name. So, this is just a more 
detailed piece, very collectible. They go for big bucks, especially these older ones that, uh, you know, aren't, aren't produced anymore. Uh, brand new, the new ones uh, that Greenlight is selling, they sell for almost about 100 bucks, brand new retail. So they're not cheap, but they are super, super, super detailed. Uh, let's take a look in the driver's area. I don't think I showed you that yet. I'll try to get a shot of the, see if I can get you some, a shot of the dash. You can see uh, even the speedometers are painted. It's got a little uh, drink rack there on top of the, the doghouse or the engine cover. It's got the all three pedals. It's got uh, multiple uh, stocks on the steering column, custom steering wheel. And like I said, the carpeting inside, it has like a, a texture to it. Uh, you can see it's a little dusty there, but it actually has a texture like real carpeting inside. So it's very, very cool piece. Very, very detailed. I uh, highly recommend you guys pick up one of these Highway 61 vans if you're into 18th scale or 1 16th scale die cast vans. They're just super detailed. They are a little bit pricey, but you pay for the high level of detail and the craftsmanship on these. And I was just lucky enough, I stumbled across one on eBay selling really cheap. And it was, uh, you know, uh, a price or best offer. So I, I kind of wheeled and dealed with the seller a little bit. Uh, she might not have known what she had and uh, You know because it was missing pieces and it was kind of banged up and it had a paint chip on it and stuff uh, I was able to negotiate a price down and I got it for less than a hundred bucks shipped. So I'm super happy It's not perfect, but a lot of mine are not like uh, I don't keep them in the box anyway So I don't need the packaging. I'm just super excited to have it and it's gonna go in my collection with my other 118th scale fan die cast all right guys that's pretty much it stick around for the slideshow if you want to see what the packaging looks like it's kind of got some funky packaging but that's it for this video if you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also check out my facebook page that van guy thanks for watching guys i appreciate it have a great day